Let's take a look at Royalty Pharma and this is a biotechnology company in the UK. And what I do in my videos is I run a discounted cash flow model so I could identify the intrinsic stock price for the company and compare it to the actual stock price to see whether it's a buy or a sell. And we also look at the financial ratios at the end of the video. So the first thing we need for the model is the market cap, that's 29.5 billion. And next we need the stock price, that's 48.55. And then we need the free cash flow. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then discount that number back to today's value. And that's exactly what we're doing in the video here. Next, we're going to get the net income. And this is the profit and loss for the company. And that's on the income statement. And then we're going to get the revenue. And that's also an income statement. And these are the sales for the company. We want to make sure the numbers look fairly consistent and positive, And they do. So we should get a good value for the company. Next, we need to figure out the discount rate. So let's look at the capital structure. They pay $268 million of interest on their debt. And then a liability section. And current liabilities. And current debt is $282 million. That's debt due within 12 months. Non-current debt, long-term debt, is debt due after 12 months at $6 billion. So they pay 4.3% interest on their debt, and that's their cost of debt. And let's get their cost of equity. We'll go to the back to Yahoo Finance. They don't have a beta. So I'm going to put 1 for the beta. And then we're going to get the current assets. And these are assets which can be liquidated into cash within 12 months. It includes cash, accounts receivables, and inventory. That's $832 million. And we need their current liabilities. These are debts and payables that are due within 12 months. That's $333 million. And also we need the equity on the balance sheet. That's $6.1 billion. That's the value of the company. It's total assets minus total liabilities. Next, we'll pull their operating income, which is $2.6 billion. That's how much money the company makes from its operational business, but before paying interest and taxes. Now we know their weighted average cost of capital. It's a blend of the cost of debt, 4.3%, and the cost of equity, 10%. That comes out to 7.1%. And that's what we're going to use to discount the future cash flows. So we discounted four years of future free cash flows. Then we did a terminal value, which is all years past year four. We discounted those numbers back to today's value. And then we get a value for the entire company of $13.6 billion. We divide that by 608 million shares. And we get an intrinsic stock price of $22. And it's trading at $49. So it's trading at a premium, 116% premium. So it's a sell according to the model. Let's see what Simply Wall Street has. They value it at $23, so they also value the company below what they're trading at, which is really close to what I'm valuing it at, almost only 40 cents off what I calculated. So it's interesting how close our models are. So you can see the stock price has been fairly steady the past 12 months. Let's look at their financial ratios to get some more information on the company. So they have a pretty good PE, 14.4. That's price of stock over earnings per share. And the average in the market is 28 and median is 16. So they're below those numbers. And I like to see 15 or below when I buy a stock. The price to sales ratio is 16. That's really high. Investors are willing to pay $16 for $1 of sales. They also have a pretty high price to book. Not too terrible. It's 4.8. The average in the market is 3.9. That's price of stock over book value per share. They have a good current ratio, 2.5, so they can cover their current liabilities. ROE of 34%, that's pretty good. The average in the market's 1% and the median's 15%. So I like to see around 20, 25%. So they're providing good value to their equity holders. They can cover their interest payments 10 times. So that's good, not much risk of default. And half of their capital structure is debt, so they're not too leveraged. So you can see the company its ratios are okay, but their intrinsic stock price is well below what they're trading at. 
So that just might be an indication that the company is overvalued. People are willing to pay a premium for the company at this point and what it's worth. So let me know what you think about the video in the comments. Thanks for watching.